How much more helpful would this clip be if we exhibited the rhythm of the stroke? The heartbeat of the entire stroke is the alternating down kick and up kick that occurs throughout the cycle. In other words, the fly rhythm is highly dependent on the dolphin kick. Furthermore, the dolphin kick is highly dependent on several movement formulas, the center of which is that of an alternating spring-like mechanism performed by the core muscles. Compression, extension. Compression, extension. Compression, extension. There are generally three ways to develop the skill. Activation refers to the use of selected exercises to stimulate the muscles. For example, a simple crunch-up variation with an emphasis on visualizing the spring compression of the core is helpful in acquainting the swimmer with the core movement required for the upkick. Think of it as fine-tuning a single note or beat. For the downkick, there are many exercise options, but the most convenient one is the hammer hold which is done by holding a weight or simply the weight of the arms in front of the body to force the torso to extend by squeezing the inner waistband. Core extension helps in hinging the hips to fine-tune the down kick. Internalizing illustrations such as this one is already an example of visualization. An underutilized method, however, is done by internalizing the rhythmic sound created by the movement itself. The core can be likened to the handle of a drumstick that you use to control the beat produced. When a swim session is available, try performing regressed versions of the butterfly. I personally recommend the downward facing version of this drill. It lets the swimmer differentiate between the deeper entry kick from the straighter exit kick. This learning process builds on itself as you repeat through the cycles of activation, visualization, and swim repetition. Learning proper rhythm is crucial when the time comes to connect the arms for propulsion. Since there are four distinctive beats led by the kick, Phelps also coincides the pulling phases with these four beats. In the first down kick, the shoulders are already rotating to allow for this thumbs down position. The shoulder tucks into the body to rotate out of the previous position during the up kick. Another down kick flicks as the arms exit to the sides. This is also the space or the beat where the swimmer can take a breath. The low recovery that follows is aided by the upkick. Biomechanically, the arms abduct the straightest if the core is braced or compressed, as opposed to extended, so make sure not to miss out on this. The cycle restarts with the next downkick. Let's play that in succession. Thumbs down to catch, thumbs in to externally rotate, exit to the side, up kick to recover low, and then reset. Note that this type of pull timing is not universal. 